here in beautiful Santa Cruz, California. I've actually been hanging out with the founder of Box Bike Collective, Alex. How's it going, buddy? Awesome. Well, you know, we've been riding around experimenting, but I wanted to start off this review by introducing you and maybe showing some footage of, you know, what it's like to use this with kids because you have a couple kids. I, I do. Yes. And that's actually the, was probably the biggest inspiration for it, for making the bike. Yeah. Was the, wow. I still want to get these kids to school and, and ride and I don't want to, I don't want to put them in the car to just go two miles down the road. It just doesn't make sense. Yeah. So, I mean, when you live somewhere like, like this, it's, right. this it's is, kind of a, it's beautiful. It's kind of a crime to not be outside and enjoy it. So I'm going to cut to that. I'm going to show a little bit of what it's like to do that. Yeah. Hey, is this Annika? Hey, how are you? <laughs> cool. Okay, and let me get you a blankie. It was kind of cold this morning. Oh think? yeah, it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> My life is in your hands, buddy. <laughs> wow, surprisingly smooth and comfortable. Good, I'm so glad. I ride a lot of electric bikes, so I'm not usually in them like this. I feel like ET. <laughs> this is so cool. You guys like the bike? Yeah, it gives a little shake. Single nod. Yeah, you gotta be bundled up when, when it's a cold morning like this, but yeah, it's really smooth. I like the, the bigger tires kind of help, like a little yeah, bit of definitely. a cushion. Uh, 20 inch tires are a little, a little bumpy. How fast do you end up going with this, with the pedal assist? Uh, the max is out at 17 miles an hour. 17 miles per hour, yeah. not bad. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's plenty, it's really... Are we heading up to the curb? Yeah, why don't you go first? It's like the most beautiful morning commute ever. Yeah. Wow, just gonna show what we're passing here. We're in Santa Cruz, California, home of the Box Bike Collective, and just heading to the heading to school. Okay, so that's pretty cool. A lot of fun, you know, with the kids and everything. Now I want to go over the product itself and just give you some idea of you know what it looks like and what the specs are and stuff. So this is it. This is the Box Bike standard. You know, this is. A blue bike, it's made with chromoly steel, sort of straight gauge, so I guess the tubing doesn't, the diameter doesn't change uh, as much, and as such, it has different, a little bit of different accessories. So this seat post right here, I think it's 26.8 millimeters wide, but it's extra long. I think it's like 400 millimeters long. And the idea is that you can get someone who's, you know, five foot or, or fairly short on this with this nice sort of mid-step, all the way up to, you know, six five or, you know, whatever, it kind of angles out. You've got this nice reach set up here. You could flip the stem if you wanted to. Kind of a curved handlebars. I love that they've got these ergon grips. I'm a big fan of these, a little bit more comfortable. And they just give you something a little bit fatter to hold on to. Uh, controlling this bike takes some getting used to. You know, when you hop on it, I, I find that if you kind of put your sort of view a little bit further out, you know, when you turn these handlebars, you're really turning that front wheel way up at the front. And it's just, it just takes some getting used to, but I love that if you look at these, you know, these arms right here, it all feels very sturdy. And I think the wheel size plays a big role in, in making this stable. So these are 20 inches in diameter by 2.15. So super, super thick, super fat, Schwalbe, big apple. You've got the reflective sidewalls because you might have that precious cargo. Nice yellow sides on on the, the basket or the bin up front. And I love that there's even room for adding uh, a lock or some other accessories. Uh, he's added a rack on his, so it's great that you've got these bosses on the back and kind of improve the utility even more if you've got something kind of balancing out on the back, maybe a trunk bag or some panniers or something like that. The fenders do come stock, really brilliant, just oversized. They're gonna keep you from getting too wet. You can see that there's a little bit of splash coming up at the back. Um, just from some mud and some things, but the fenders have done a really good job for the most part. It's, it's a wet day and we've been going around, you know, kind of through a couple puddles and I haven't gotten any stripes on my back. Uh, while we're talking about comfort, I love that you've got the Cloud9 saddle, super soft and comfy because this doesn't have suspension. There's no suspension seat posts. There's no suspension forks or anything like that. But again, the tires, especially if they aren't overinflated, they give you that nice cushion. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's forgiving. Like the steel frame is forgiving. One of the sort of the, the mixed blessings about that is that 
you know, when you're on it and you're steering and you have a lot of weight up front, like I had Alex and you know, he's 160 plus pounds. I could feel the frame flexing horizontally. Um, and again, that sort of smooths things out, but you don't have that same sort of like immediate precision that you do on just a, an individual bike that as soon as you turn, it happens. There's just a little bit of a kind of a flow to this bike. So I, you know, I, I think I've experienced that on other cargo bikes as well. And especially with this unique frame design, that's, it's, it's, you know, kind of steps down a little bit to make it more accessible. So kind of keeping that in mind. Um, yeah, I want to hit some of the other specs before we get into the electronics. 180 millimeter. These are mechanical disc brakes, but I'm told they're going to have hydraulic. So that's really important. Really smooth, gives you plenty of stopping power. And then having the motor inhibitors at first, I, I didn't think they had them because you only have one cable coming out, but then there's this sort of splicer right here. Um, really nicely, very, very responsive. You didn't have to squeeze it uh, all that far for it to activate. And if we come back here, I love that there's a quick release on the back. Uh, I asked Alex why he had two 20 inch wheels. You know, a lot of these cargo bikes will have like 26 or 24 in the back. And he said, well, you know, it's, it's nice to be able to use the same size tubes or tires when you're replacing stuff. And one of the aspects of building this was trying to keep it affordable. So it's $3,900, which in the world of electric bikes, it's like, wow, that's more expensive. But for something that's really utilitarian like this, very capable and, um, I think it's it's the kind of thing you can even kind of you know just fix and keep it on the road and um, use that that is a pretty good price point also that it's built kind of right here in Santa Cruz with part of the box bike collective group is neat so you're supporting sort of a, a local organization and they're working with some some charities we might talk about that in a minute hey, Alex you were talking about maybe donating one of these bikes yeah, or so uh, th this actual bike being a demo bike I don't really feel that great about selling it to somebody yeah but I think it would be great for either our, our local um, bike advocacy group yeah um, you know that they could have it and that way people could either use it on like an hourly basis to you know once a week they have to do a bunch of grocery shopping they can go use yeah. this not use is this that car. how earlier you were talking about how this one actually has been used as yeah, a cargo so, bike so, was this with this group yes yeah, so that well no this being the demo bike we've loaned this bike out to a bunch of messenger services yeah and they've used it and i've never experienced anybody you well, never found anybody to use bikes as hard as messenger services do mm -hmm. um, they think nothing of just filling it up with newspaper and riding 60 miles yeah. um, so they, it's really being used hard and that's been really valuable for us to get feedback saying hey I, I did this to the bike and go you did what yeah, it and still like, runs has, has hey, anything broken runs. like what's um, what's yeah they, they broke some spokes and, and through that, we discovered that the lacing pattern on the wheel was, was wrong. It was actually not the correct lacing pattern for that size wheel. What gauge are the spokes? If you so know they're, they're, uh, the front ones are 13-gauge uh, spokes, so those are heavier than normal. Yeah. The rear ones are 14-gauge, and those okay. are standard bicycle spokes. It's about standard. So yeah, the, the smaller number is, is thicker, and this is where the motor is, so yeah, that's so the... Are, those are pretty thick. Um, but the 20-inch the wheels are actually incredibly strong. That's another advantage of 20-inch wheels is, uh, you know, there's, there's more spoke per rim. Yeah, the ratio. The ratio of rim to spoke is, 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 is good. Yeah, it's, it's so that you get these very strong wheels. Um, and, and there's actually a whole group of people who are so 20-inch wheel fans. They make road bikes with 20-inch wheels, <laughs> uh, the mini velos and yeah. So uh, I know Juiced Riders has 20-inch wheels front and rear. And yeah, it's, that's it's right. A, They've got the I think it's going to become a slightly, or whatever. Yeah, it's going to become a slightly more popular thing. I, w I wouldn't be surprised if you start seeing 20-inch wheels. Well, I like on, it. On bike. I, thank you for the for the feedback, and it's great when you get that hands-on feedback from like hardcore yeah, yeah, users I mean, and these guys. You know, another one thing that happened was they the very first kickstand they managed to bend it, oh. and it was literally from putting almost 500 pounds of newspaper in the bike. And it was like, well, okay, that wasn't what we expected you to do. But seeing as how you did do this, we should probably, you know, make it work bigger. on it. Can yeah. you show me the kickstand yeah, real quick? So the kickstand, um, you know, the concept is you just put forward, and it pops up, ah. and to engage it, push down. Has it changed it. at all? Like, is this no, an updated uh, we, design? No, we added an extra bar in there. To, I saw that, the horizontal bar. Yeah, so there's right? double horizontal bars to make that it... That supports, like, the whole load on top, yes, right? Yes, exactly. So when, when it's engaged like this, that's that's what's holding the load. Okay. Um, one more little feature I should point out is there are these, these um, brackets over here. Yeah. And these are actually for racks. So originally, these were going to be just for surfboards. Um, being in Santa Cruz, cool. a lot of people like to 
ride down to the beach, that way they don't have to find parking. Sure. And so the, there are surf racks, you know, one in the front, one in the back here, and they just come out and they, like these little L bars that come up. Yeah, um, so I've seen that, and then you just put the board right next to you. Pop the board in. And so it was like, wow, that's really great. And then suddenly we said, wait a second, there's so much more than just surfboards you can do with this. Um, so I've, I've bought plywood with this bike. And huh. so you put in the rack and you can just plop a, you know, four by eight sheet of plywood. And there's in one there. on either side. Exactly. So yeah. Okay. Very cool. Okay. Well, you know, I don't want to miss out on any of the specs, so I'm going to finish up with oh, just what makes yeah. this a bicycle. Um, we, you know, we were up here in the cockpit earlier. Nine speeds with this Shimano system. It's just kind of a mid-level, the Sora, and then we have Alivio sh trigger shifter up there. Um, nine gears, you know, versus seven or something. Was this so that people could get up hills easier? It, exactly. Uh, and it's a, a one by nine drivetrain. There's no derailleur in the front. Yeah. And uh, what's nice about 20 inch wheels is each time you shift gears, it's a bigger jump. Uh. So even though there's only, even though it's only a one by nine, mm -hmm. it has the same gear range as a typical mountain bike. Okay. Uh, well, when you say only, in the world of electric bikes, I'm used to six, okay. seven speeds. So nine is actually, yeah. I think, an improvement. And did you have to do anything different with the gearing because you have a smaller diameter wheel, so like the cadence gets changed a little? It, it does. And so it, it's it's very carefully chosen, the size of that front chain ring in relationship to the to those nine gears. Okay. Um, do you know how many teeth are on it? Is yeah, that... it's a, that's a 48 tooth, 48 uh, tooth chain ring. Okay. Yeah. A lot of times it's like 52 yeah, or exactly. something. Exactly. And so, so, is... so with smaller wheels and, and bikes that are not, you know, uh, not cargo bikes, you would typically not have anything smaller than a 52, sometimes as okay. big as a 60 on the front. Great. Okay. So thank you. So we've hit most of the, the drivetrain stuff. This is a pedal assist only bicycle. And, and so you're actually riding, you're pedaling the whole time. That helps to extend your range, but it does have a cadence sensor. So you can see it down here. This has five magnets, uh, fairly standard. You know, sometimes these days I've seen like 12 magnet. This was fairly responsive, um, but a cadence sensor, what it means is you don't really have to push hard. You just have to move the cranks and the system responds. What I found was that, you know, there are three levels of assist here, low, medium, and high at low, it was definitely, it, was, it wasn't putting out as much power and that was limiting my speed, which was a good thing. I actually started off feeling more comfortable without pedal assist turned on just so I felt more stable. But then once you get up to a higher speed, you, you, it, that stabilizes the bike. Yeah. So it's okay. okay, so Alex has the camera. Let's give this a go. A little bit of speed really helps get the stability. Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. We're getting the speed. We're getting the speed. Thank you. <laughs> Everyone here is like, ah, don't get run over. So there we go. We got it going. A little bit of speed. It's definitely feeling more stable at this point. How are you feeling up there in the front? Oh, pretty good. It's, okay. it's really uh, quite a luxury. <laughs> yeah, Little getting run. ridden around instead of hauling the kids around yeah. here. Enjoying it? It, yeah. it starts to go, you know, you really, really, really feel it. Even on medium pedal assist, uh, there's definitely a lot of help and it's coming from this 500 watt internally geared eight fun motor up at the front. This is, you know, it's a sturdy big motor right there. Um, it definitely, you definitely feel it. And unlike some of the other front wheel drive bikes that I've ridden, I didn't feel it spinning out or anything like that. Yes. Um, and I think it has to do with the fact that it's a cargo bike. Mm. Um, just more weight up front. It has and a lot more weight up front and you know that that wheel always has traction. Yeah, um, yeah. You don't have the issue of some wheeling this bike. Yeah, there's no no on wheeling on. going yeah. on and you know the person's weight is all back there and then this whole basket and everything is up front. Um, it's gonna go ahead and weigh this thing and and uh, kind of cut in with that. So we just did the weighing. Uh, it was kind of fun, you know, we're trying to find the center of gravity I'm pretty well balanced still right in the middle of the frame we were able to lift it up it's about 96 pounds so you know obviously with the additional steel tubing and reinforcements and stuff bikes like this cargo bikes of any kind tend to be a little bit heavier but uh that's not too bad okay cool so then coming back here to the the battery and everything we've got our controller pretty well protected i think not a lot of water or mud up here you can kind of see that that's that's what's nice about this we have been riding it so you can kind of see where the water and mud goes and it's staying clean here. There's the controller, 36 volt um, and, and 19 amps. So is that how many amps are flowing through the system? At max, 
Yes. Maximum. Yeah, you're maxing out. That is that is it. Okay. Yeah. And then the battery pack here. This is sort of the standard like water bottle looking canister. 36 volt, uh, eight amp hours on that. So you know, pretty well positioned. Kind of stays out of the way when you're pedaling. It's removable, so you can charge it on or off the bike. And you've got the little LED indicator readout. Here's the charging port. Um, so very very cool. Do you have you know? additional batteries if someone wants to go further or something uh, like that yes and the plan is to actually get a, a 48 volt system as well okay so if you were in somewhere where it's very hilly like san francisco that might be a better option yeah to you know, consistently go uphill without uh any worries okay um, but for normal riding normal moderate hills this 36 volt system has been great and i'd imagine in pedal assist mode depending on the level you choose with the smaller wheels giving that mechanical advantage to the motor i'd, I'd imagine you're 20 plus miles per charge what have, what's your experience uh, been yes um i've i've gone about 15 on a single charge okay and that's using it pretty generously you know just it, it the, the interesting thing for me is a once you start using electric assist, you start like, oh wow, why was I resistant to this? It's <laughs> I was a so, sucker before. <laughs> so easy and so fun that you you tend to use it quite a bit. Okay. Um, but 15 is about a practical limit, and and that's and that's with cargo. With cargo, okay. you know, two kids yeah. in there, I can get you know 15 miles is, is comfortable. Okay. Okay, Phil. Thank you so much. Um, I also love the flag. Is that included? Do you get it? Yes. And that's again, you know, having kids in there, it it kind of changes the way you you think about the design and and having more visibility is just it's almost like you can never have too much um, yeah you, you you know before i had kids i used to run stop signs and just weave in and out yeah. of traffic and now suddenly it's like uh, bright extremely predictably want to have flags dress in bright colors and that's that's all just part of making it practical and safe yeah. for for families to use yeah alex this is great is there anything you feel like i've missed how thorough you are. Uh, Thanks, man. Uh, there is a kid seat that comes in here, and and it's the idea is that uh, there are these little holes over here, yeah, and uh, the, it can be pretty quickly and easily put in or easily taken out. So, mm -hmm. for example, you were to take your kids to school, and then you go to the grocery store and you need more space, you can just pull these pins out, yeah, and the seat sort of falls out the way, and you have more space for your groceries. Neat. Okay. Yeah. Well, that so it just kind of comes out and and exactly. folds up. That's yeah. clever. Was that what your kids were on this morning? They, they were, were sitting, yeah. Okay. They were sitting on the, the seat. Yeah. So, and yeah. it has, you know, harnesses for them so that they don't... <laughs> don't go flying. Around. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, well, I think that's it. That is the Box Bike from the Box Bike Collective. Sounds like, you know, there's still some refinements happening with this thing and got a great website. It's the community build thing designed to be affordable, but, but also just, you know, really authentic. It's been fun hanging out with you for the full ride up on this and more electric bikes. See you back at electricbikereview.com. As always, ride safe. Look at this, I love the helmet. Take care.